It's me again, Lauren. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited. How's everybody doing? Good morning, good afternoon. It depends what coast you're on, my West Coast friends. It's going to be good morning, or yeah, good morning for you, my West East Coast friends. Good afternoon. You're on my coast. Hello, Miss Carrie, you are in the right place. Hello, hello. You know we always love to leave you in suspense. I am Lauren, for those of you joining us for the very first time. Today we are stitching out printed fabric stationery. And I am really, really excited to be able to walk you all through this one. We always get tons and tons of questions um, about printed fabric and about stitching on uh, embroidery, for making our embroidered cards. And I'm really, really pumped. So I, I hopefully have lots to fill you in on. The great thing about this project for printed um, fabric stationery is my actual stitching today is, is fairly quick. It's not a long project. I love embroidered cards. I think they add a great personal touch when you're gift giving. Um, and this one specifically is, is fairly quick, but I hopefully will have a lot of good um, information and tips and tricks for you all. So welcome everybody. If this is your very first live stitch out, let me know, say first live stitch out, whatever it is you need to say, I will try and say hello and call you all out, but I am excited to be here today. Holy moly's, we're up to 134 people already. Wow, I am so excited. Miss Lori, you're stitching in the garage with your grandson. Wow. I love it. Oh, you're stitching out, oh, the garage. You're stitching out the garage. I know which one you're talking about, Miss Lori, sorry. I thought you said you're stitching in the garage. I was like, well, that's a great getaway. Hello, I have some friends from Canada, Miss Patricia. This is your first live stitch out, Miss Andrea, welcome. Miss Lori, welcome. Susan, ooh, we have lots of new friends. Miss Gina, Miss Pat, Kim, Stuart, welcome. Love it, love it, love it. Good morning, good afternoon to all my friends. Okay, I'm gonna get some information for you. I already see um, you asking, I saw someone ask, when was this released? the printed fabric stationery. I'm going to have my friends behind the scenes find out for me. Did you see that side eye I just gave them? That's their cue to look it up for me. Um, oh, and there it is, May 2019. So if you are an all access member in May of 2019, you have this collection. Okay, and I have a sample here for you. Okay, this is one that we, oop, there you go, gotta get in focus, that we just made. So this one says Adventures Awaits. And this is a really cute collection. If you have not purchased this yet, it is on sale, it's $10 off. It is a uh, project collection, so it's normally $34.95. And it is going to be on sale until the end of today, 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. And it's $10 off, so you can snag this one up for $24.95, which is awesome. It's a great, great deal. Now, before I get started, I want to talk to you. Um, I want to talk to you about what comes in this collection. So again, this one is $10 off, $24.95, and the name of it's right down here for you, Printed Fabric Stationery, and it was released originally in May of 2019. So it is fairly new. If you are all access member that month, then you have this collection already. But if not, you can purchase it on anitagooddesign.com. It is $10 off until the end of today, so don't wait on that one, okay? Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about what comes in this collection. So there is four different themes in this collection. Um, you're going to see, let me see if I can pull out my last page here. You're going to see, um, if I can get my camera, here we go. Doo -doo. Okay, so we have a couple different, I'm trying to get it, there we go patterns. Let me see if I can get it in my camera. There we go. So we have a make today amazing. We have florals. We have the one we're going to stitch out and then we have adventures await. So not only do you get these beautiful cards that you can print out the fabric with, but you're going to get designs to put on the envelopes. You have all different types of papers you can stitch out if you want to line 
So this is a liner. So if you want to make an envelope and line it, you have that you can print out. You have multiple different cards you can print out. You have different stationery that you can print out. And then we show you how to make the envelope and you can stitch on that. So there's tons and tons of great stuff all in this one collection. Now this is just one theme and you can see here on my directions and these are just, I printed off the directions that you get. This is the hello set. So just for this one set, you're gonna get all of these different options of printed fabrics and stitch outs, okay? Now, with this one, I'm gonna stitch this live today and it says a little note just to say hello, but if you're printing at home, you have all these different options of different colors you can print as well. So these are great because not only do you have four different themes of these cards, but you have different colors as well. So you truly can customize this however you'd like. So lots and lots of good options. Now I told you again, my friends, if this is the first time you are joining us, I, we typically don't talk this much in the very beginning. We get right ahead to stitching, but I feel like there's a lot of information that I need to give you first so that we can answer all those questions and then get stitching because the stitching really is fairly quick. Now, printed fabric. I have a lot of questions on printed fabric and I brought with me the, one, the kind that we use. Now, this is June Taylor, okay? And it's the Color Fast Sew-In Fabric Sheets and it's for ink, mm, let me try that one again. It's for inkjet printers, okay? And they come just in sheets of paper like this. Let me show you, okay? It just looks like a paper and you put it through your printer. Now, when you get your design collection, we give you the PF PDFs, and you just take the PDF on your USB like you would into your machine. You put it on your USB, and then you print these fabrics, print onto these fabrics from your computer, okay? And then what ends up popping out is this, all right? And it's, again, the same thing. It's just the sheet of paper out of the printer. The PDF printed this, all right? And it's really really pretty. Now I love these, even if you want, I think this is really cute because I was thinking about this. How else could you use these? These are adorable. Even if you just frame this and hung it for decor, you can use your lettering on your machine. You can stitch whatever you'd like if, as long as it fits within that. There's a lot of options. You don't have to just stitch, you know, what we give you. Okay. Lots, lots of good options. Now, with your um, printing paper, okay, you do want to print ahead of time and make sure you read your directions. I can't stress that enough. Every type of printer fabric, uh, of um, sewing fabric is going to be a little bit different. It's going to tell you what you need to do to prep it, to not prep it, whatever it is you have to do. We love this because you don't have to prep anything. We're all set and ready to stitch, okay? So if, again, if you are just joining us, my name is Lauren from Anita Good Design. I'm so excited you're here. We have these stitch outs every, almost every Wednesday. Every once in a while we have to, we have to move them, but almost every Wednesday. And we love, we love interacting with you all. I have all these friends here, a hundred and over 150 people. It's crazy. My coworkers, Elise and Drea are here as well. They are helping me with my technology, my cameras and answering any questions that you have. So if you have any questions with anything that we're doing today, of course, please go right ahead and uh, type away on there. And if we don't get to your questions, of course, you can always email customer experience as well. So I'm ready to get started. Is everybody ready? Woo, 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 woo. Okay, it's a little song for you. Okay, here we go. So I am all ready. Uh, I have my design loaded. I'm gonna put my foot down and put my safety lock on. So green means go and I'm gonna stitch. Okay, now today I'm using a six by 10 hoop and I'm gonna pull out every single step so you can see it along the way. Okay, here we go. So the very first stitch according to my directions and I have my directions here is a placement stitch. So we are going to run this lovely placement stitch. Hello, hello. Oh, Miss Cheryl, you like my decor idea. I'm glad. Okay, what is the name of the fabric sheets? I am using June Taylor. 
June Taylor is my fabric sheet brand. For those of you, if you um, forget the name of something or if you have to leave early or you're starting late with us, that is okay. This um, video will remain on YouTube, our YouTube page, as well as on Facebook for you to rewatch at any time that you would like. Okay, now we can see here, okay, here's my placement stitch. So my directions are telling me my placement stitch is going to show me where I'm taking and placing my card. Now, we also have a supplies list. So it's gonna tell you exactly what kind of cards you need. And of course, I've misplaced my card. We are off to a good start. But if you go to, here it is, if you go to a um, card shop of any type, okay, they have the cards and the sizes that you need. So A7 is your card size along with your envelope too, okay? They do come in sizes, but you can um, pick these up anywhere that, you, that sells any type of stationery. Uh, if you don't want to fancy colored ones, then you can also buy them at uh, staples, any, any type of uh, supply store will have them for you. Okay, so now we have our placement stitch and I'm going to take my card and open it up. So the only thing you really need to think about when you're doing this is where do you want your design? I want my design on the outer part of the card so it's the first thing they see. Now, if you, know, if you want it on the inside and that's what they open up to, that's fine. That's all you just need to think about. So I'm gonna open up my card, all right? And I'm going to put a little bit of tape, little bit of tape on it, just to kind of hold it down, okay? And just put a little bit on the edge. So uh, you could see I, I really went heavy handed with, <laughs> with my tape. But I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna hold it in place Okay, I'm gonna hold it in place, but I wanted just a little bit of tape because when I'm talking with you all, oftentimes my uh, attention gets pulled too. So I'm going to now put my foot down. I'm holding this and this first stitch is going to be a tack down stitch. This tack down stitch is gonna hold my card in place, but it's also going to serve as my placement stitch for my printed fabric once it's time. And we're just using our regular needle. I didn't use a special needle. I'm not changing it out, okay? And then, oh, what stabilizer is, am I using? I'm sorry, Miss Kathy. I am using a tearaway stabilizer because I'm going to do exactly that. I'm gonna tear my card out when I am all finished. And if you're new to a need a good design and new to our directions as well, please know that we do include all of that information in the tutorial. So if you have not purchased the, the printed fabric stationery set yet, know that we tell you the size hoop you need, we'll tell you what uh, stabilizer we're using, we'll tell you the size of the card to use as well, because all of that information is really, really important, right? You can't get through your project without that. So now, you can see, ooh, there it is, okay? I, my card is attached, okay? This is my tack down stitch, so my card is tacked down and in place, okay? All right, here we go. Now, moving on to my fabric. This is my printed fabric. I would say the biggest mistake I see people make with printed fabric is they forget there is a backing on it and you have to pull the backing off, okay? And I say it's like a sticker without the sticky. So there's just a front and a back. There we go. And you just wanna pull this backing off of it. Now, and this is not sticky. So this part goes in the garbage. It's the back of my, my paper, okay? And this is my fabric. And you can see it's much more pliable, a little bit more fragile in a good way, okay? And um, I totally lost my frame of thought. But anyways, <laughs> I'm glad. For those of you that are new, my friends that join us every Wednesday have worked with me many of times, are used to me forgetting my words. This is not the first time. My brain moves very quickly sometimes, and I've already moved on to my next thought, and my mouth has not released what it is I need to say. But anyways, so you're gonna place this, and what you wanna do is line up the red line on here. Let me show you. 
okay? This red line is where you're gonna line up on your card. Now, you can, of course, cut this down ahead of time and trim it, but what I wanted to do is I really wanted to show you um, what this looks like and kind of peel it off for you. And notice it's not sticky. It's, it's not a sticker by any means. And normally what I would do is I would trim this down so that I can place it at, as perfectly as I possibly can, but I don't want to go ahead and use my scissors because it, it might be not the greatest of cuts. So I'm going to do my best I can to line this up and I'm going to hope that my friends, meaning you all, are not going to make fun of me if it's off a little bit. But I think we're all in this together, so I don't think you will. But I may make fun of myself. That's okay. So all I'm doing is trying to line this up the best I can. Okay, I think it's straight. It lays pretty flat, so I'm not even going to use tape because I'm afraid if I use tape that it's going gonna, it's gonna to shift it. Okay. And you know what I always say is safety first. You should always be using tape. Don't ever listen to me because you don't want your hands underneath this uh, needle here. So I think I'm pretty good. All right, fingers crossed here. All right, and I'm changing out my thread. So I am choosing to use a thread color that kind of matches um, the printed fabric. I wanted something that blends in a little bit. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Yes, Miss Doreen. So this is not live on YouTube right now. Once we are done and completed with our project, my very tech sa savvy friends that work here will post this on YouTube. So it's only live right now on Facebook. And then once we're all done, we will then post it to YouTube as well for you, okay? So we are now tacking down our printed fabric. It is just beautiful. I'm really excited about it and it's almost straight. Almost straight, I know you're not gonna judge. Nope. Okay, of course, I have to fix my bobbin. All right, so while I do this, while I do my little mini surgery, I have to just fix my bobbin here. It is not a happy camper with me, okay? I am, oh, that's why, because it's almost out. Oh my goodness gracious. Good thing I have my handy dandy extra bobbin right here on top of my machine. But now, of course, finding the start is always going to be tricky. Good thing I have another handy box of bobbins. You can't work in an embroidery software company and not have bobbins all over the place. Elise just picked one up off the floor for me. So look at we got each other's backs. That's there's just bobbins galore over here. All right, let's try this again. Now, what happens if, okay, I get this question a lot. What happens if you accidentally leave the little the backing onto your card, on your printed fabric? Absolutely nothing. Honestly, it will just be a little bit stiff. It probably won't be as pliable. And of course, you leave the opportunity to, to have just a little bit of like, I call it bubbles in your paper, like where it's just not flat and taut the way you would really want it to be. All right, so you just have to be careful. But, you know, sometimes I set reminders on my cell phone too, whatever helps me. Okay, there we go, let's see. I think we're cruising here. There we go. All right, my new bobbin is, is much happier. Okay, so now there is some embroidery and some details happening here. So while that's happening, let's talk a little bit about some sales. Now, we love to do flash sale, sales here when we're live stitching. And so I picked out one of my favorites and this collection is gonna be 50% off today. And it is called Pocket Full of Stitches. Now, this is one of my favorite collections because it's, I just think it's adorable. We stitch these on denim shirts. And what this is, is you take your pocket off your shirt. You can take your pocket off of your pants if you wanna put it on, on the back of your pants. And there's some embroidery that goes down as a base. So in this one, of course, it's our sewing notions. So it looks like it's in the pocket. 
And then you actually have some embroidery that goes on the pocket as well. And then we show you how to attach your pocket back on. We love this collection. I love this collection. Okay, let me get up close, see if I can get this in view for you all. We have panda bears, there's a cactus, there is feathers, there is lemonade. Or, or, you know, a cocktail, whichever you prefer in the summertime. We have donuts, we have sushi, there's like a really cute elephant. There's something for everybody. How cute is this? It's a little iPod music uh, or cell phone, whatever you would like to call that. But something for everybody. The whole family can have a pocket full of stitches. This collection is 50% off, five, zero. Okay, and if you're looking down here, um, we have pocket full of stitches. It was released in February of 2017. So if you uh, were all access then, you have this collection. Um, and if not, then you need to get it because it's 50% off. So it's gonna be on sale for $35 again till midnight. So you have two collections that are, are have a great deep discount today. You have your printed stationery card as well as pocket full of stitches. This is our flash sale. And these are absolutely adorable. You don't even have to use them on pockets. We just kind of give you an idea of how to use these. But absolutely love it. Love it. Mary Bell, you've done the bird and the fish. You love these. Yes, they really are so cute. They really, really are so cute. All right, so let's see. My embroidery has finished. Okay, here we go. So we can see here. So my card has attached. We have a little bit of these rays of sunshine. Now let me read because I may have forgotten to trim, but let's see what my directions say. So I am on step four, printed fabric. Okay, so yes, I need to trim. So now what I'm gonna do, again, you could have done this ahead of time and if you trimmed it kind of down in place, then you would not have to do this now if you trimmed your, your printed fabric down. I'm gonna trim as well as I can. And because I did not place my car, my printed fabric perfectly, you may see a little bit of that red outline, but most of you will do much better than I do. But this is all about teaching and learning. This is what <laughs> we say. This is how I cover up my mistakes, as I say I make the mistakes for you all so you can learn from them. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually gonna leave a little bit of the printed fabric outside. There is not a satin stitch that comes in, and we do that because we don't want to um, tear the card. If you have too much stitching, okay, if there's too much stitching, then you have an opportunity of tearing the card here. So I left a little bit extra, kind of like a raw edge, but that's up to you however you want it. All right, so you can see, and because I have a colored card, I have this really pretty blue card, I do like to see a little bit of that excess of uh, the fabric next to the card around it. So that's, it really is completely your call and, and how you'd like to do that. But I definitely recommend trimming your printed fabric ahead of time using those red lines. If you trim just inside of them, they will place perfectly and match up. Now the questions we get often with our, just any type of embroidered card collection, is we get a lot of questions of, can I use designs off my machine? Can I turn anything into, or, or stitch anything onto an embroidered card? My answer for that really truly is no. We digitize specifically for embroidered cards. This is just paper, so it will tear. So if the stitches is if the stitch is too intense, it will tear it. So what I would say is definitely test first. If there is something you want to put on your card that does not come from a Nita Good Design embroidered card collection, I would test it. Um, and that is also why we oftentimes, almost always, put some type of base fabric down on top of the card first before we embroider because that helps to strengthen the card too. So if you're going to pull in your own, own wording or design or something like that, just test it maybe even before you use your printed fabric. 
And that printed fabric, I do did see a couple of people earlier ask, where do you get your printed fabric from? Um, I would always check with your local dealers first. Of course, we always want to support them and help them out. And if they don't have it, then I would just, honestly, you can just Google it online um, and, and get it somewhere off of, you know, that, that worldwide internet we all love so much, right? Okay, but yeah, a lot of dealers, if they carry notions, a lot of the dealers are going to have the printed fabric paper as well. Okay, so I'm switching out um, my thread because now I'm getting to the point where I am stitching my words and hello is my first one. So I'm doing this in a really bright, beautiful, hot pink. And it helps if I thread my needle. You would think that we don't do this a hundred times a day, right? Still forget the basics sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna let this stitch and it is gonna stitch hello for me. And while this is stitching, I think it's time for us to do a prize. So let's give away a prize, okay? Um, I'm gonna give away a $20 virtual gift card and this gift card is going to be used on our website, anitagooddesign.com. So you're gonna type in a word and your buzzword to enter you. Are we live now? You should be, but they don't have the word. <laughs> they missed the prize. Okay. So I think, I'm so sorry, we had a momentary lapse in our connection, connection here. You've got to love technology and, and staying tight to these Wi-Fi signals. So I apologize. If you are still with us, just give me a quick second. We just want to make sure everybody's still with us. We are going to do, are we good, Ms. Drea? We're good, everyone's here? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going, all right? Okay, here we go. So here is our card, lovely, okay? So we have our hello that just went in. I am now going to actually just continue on with our words, our cute little notes here. And it says, a little note to say. A little note to say. So let's change this one out. Okay. All right, so it looks like everybody's back. Thank you for staying patient with us. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, you missed the word. I did not give anything away, my friends. I would not do that without each and every single one of you here with me. So your word that you are going to type for our $20 gift card is card, C-A-R-D. So just type card and that will enter you into the stitch out or into our uh, prize, okay? So you're going to type the word card and then we will randomly pick somebody to win this gift card for you all. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. I'm sorry, sometimes we have such a large building now, our Wi-Fi sometimes gives us a little bit of trouble. So, but you know, we, we just roll with it. You guys roll with it too. So we appreciate you. Okay, we got our friends coming in there. Card, card, card. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. So these these cards, and if you are if you're somebody who's 
always been kind of nervous about stitching out on any type of stationery. Please know it is, it really is so fun. We have lots of people who love our stationery. We have all different types as well. So we have um, certain stationery for the holidays. We have stationery for baby showers. We have kind of a generic um, kind of embroidered card for all situations. We have, my favorite is, um, the embroidered card, it's our one, two, three collection that has anything from wedding invitations, be um, baby showers, birthdays. We have kind of a generic one where you can fill in your own information too. So lots of options. All right, let's see. Oh, thanks, Miss Carrie. But you can always come back. Miss Carrie, come back and watch all of it, okay? All right, who is our winner, Miss Elise? Jean Roland Wall. Miss Jean Roland Wall, you are a winner. All right, Miss Jean, so you are going to email marketing at anitagooddesign.com. Congratulations. And that gift card you can use on top of our sale pricing, which is wonderful. So if you are just joining us or you just need a little bit of reminder, we are currently stitching uh, printed, sta printed fabric stationery. This is a project collection and it is on sale until 11.59 p.m. tonight. You will get it for $10 off, regularly $34.95 on sale for $24.95. And then I have my flash sale item, my pocket full of stitches. This is a great embroidery collection as well, where we show you how to kind of embroider on your pocket and inside the pocket, you put your pocket back on and you can have this on your your shirt, you can have this on your pants, wherever your little pocket lies. And this one is 50% off, five zero. All right, so five zero percent. So that is gonna be on sale for $34 as well, $35 uh, until the end of today. Now, I think also what I was telling you about when we so rudely got frozen was my coworker, Brianna, this afternoon at 4 p.m., right? It's 4 p.m., not 4.30? 4. At 4 p.m. today, she is going to go live to talk to you about all access, our digital all access. And this is great for anybody that is a current all access member, even if you're still getting the book, okay? Or if you're new to all access and you've, and you've never heard of it before, but we have made some changes. Your all access for June should have been dropped into your account. Okay, something new. You still are receiving those emails, but you're also going to receive it in your Anita Good Design account. So she's going to kind of talk to you all about that. She's going to explain all access in general in case you don't know what all access is. Okay, and then um, we can answer any questions that you have. But we're making lots and lots of really cool changes to the digital all access and because all of our members no matter if you're somebody who gets the magazine or only digital receive the digital portion of all access you you want to join us so that's today at four o'clock that won't take very long she just wants to show you where you can kind of click around in your account and how to find that so you definitely want to join us there and then some other fun things yes helping find the PDF yes 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 um, the other things that you um, are that you would want to join us for this week is we have our very first Anita's University 201 virtual, and that's this Friday. That starts at 12 p.m. Okay, and that very first two of my coworkers, Drea and Melissa, will be doing two stitch outs this Friday, and then every Friday after that. Yes, so lots of great stuff. You're an all access annual. Any magazines in a few months? Miss mm, Roseanne, you're going to want to reach out to our customer experience team. Miss Barbara, I'm loving that you love digital. Awesome, awesome. Miss Carol, you signed up for 201. I'm pumped. I'm really, really excited. Okay, so 201, Miss Joyce, Anita's University 201 is one of our education um, binders that we teach or taught in person at our traveling events. And what we have done is we have started to teach some of these courses virtually, kind of like I'm doing today. But the 201, you can 
Um, sign up on Facebook. It is $4.99 for each class to participate with us. You can purchase the binder online at anitagooddesign.com. Now at this point, if you buy the binder, you just won't have it to, to stitch live with us in class, but that's okay. It's on sale for $89. And what you can do is just participate live with us in class, and then you can receive your designs after that. So lots of fun stuff. 201 is all quilting. I forgot to say that. Anita's University, 201, I can quilt. And the very, like, the, one of the most fun things is not only do we teach you so many of our different techniques for quilting, the very end, we're going to have Tammy, our seamstress, with us, and she is going to show you and talk to you about how to put your quilts together, how to put your blocks together. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really, really excited about it, too. Always, in case you can't tell. Okay, so let's take a look. My card is done. I told you this one is going to be so quick. So, so quick. All right, so here, look at, I mean, how adorable is this, right? I, it looks better than store-bought. A little note just to say hello, right? What, what song is that? Is it Lionel Richie that sings hello? Is it me? Yeah. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can't sing, but there you go. So I'm going to pop this out of the hoop. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, now, let me, let me show, tell you something. I use tearaway stabilizer, right? Please, 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 I just always recommend not to actually tear the card out. Because what I've had happen, because I teach these in class, is people go to tear them and they end up tearing their card, which is devastating. So even though you're using tearaway stabilizer, and yes, you can tear it, what I recommend is just nice and gently trimming it out, okay? Be careful not to cut your card, of course. Just like tearing, you know, accidents happen. Isn't this great how fast this is? I'm all about a good last minute gift, so a little embroidered card and a bottle of wine is right up my alley for a gift. Okay. So let's take a look. I just tore my stabilizer out. Okay, here we go. So here is my beautiful card. When you open it up, the Miss Janet, the center, the letters look a little off in the center. Because remember, in the very beginning, I told you I did not place my my fabric perfectly because I didn't pre-cut it because I wanted you all to see. Um, you know, what that fabric looked like. So if, if I was not doing this live to teach you all, what I would have done is I would have pre-cut my fabric so that the, I could have lined it up better. But it's because, see, I have my little red line here, too, from my fabric. It's just because I did it live and I wasn't concentrating the way I needed to, right? But still beautiful, still beautiful. But um, the biggest thing, too, uh, that we get a lot of questions about is, is the kind of the back of this here, how to hide this. So different suggestions that I have. Don't forget, with this collection, you get these beautiful printed fabric liners. So what you could do is print out one of these that matches, and then you can glue it down, cut it out to size. You can glue it down to cover these up if you'd like. Okay, you can also just take a, another card and cut it and then glue it down there. You can use fabric if you'd like, or you can leave it. Nothing says that you have to cover up the backs of these. If it's a homemade card, you're going to just see whatever it is you see. But yeah, so you can just hide this. Again, it comes, this collection comes with other printed fabric options. So you can always print these out on another piece of printed fabric and then just cut it to size and you can hide those stitches. Okay, it is completely up to you. So lots of different options of how to hide the back of it. But again, I am not mad about this. If I gave this to my friend and the backs was showing, I would still be okay with it. It's beautiful. So a little note just to say hello. Okay, so I told you it was a quick stitch out. We got through this one lickety split today. I love it. Will you take me to full screen, Miss Elise? Thank you so much. Okay, so that is the end of our class today. What did I say? Left in most thrown away, perfect registration. 
Oh, thank you, Miss Carol. It is a card made with love from me to you all. I appreciate it. Um, what kind of glue? Do you, you can use any type of glue. Any type of glue. It does not make a difference. You can use a glue stick. Um, you can use hot glue. I would just be careful because sometimes with these cards being just a normal card stock, you might get that kind of like imprint from it. But I would just use a glue stick, fabric tape, anything like that would work wonderful. Okay. So now I, what I would like to say is thank you so much for joining us. Next Wednesday, we have another fabulous stitch out with another educator. So please join us. For those of you that are new, we are here almost every single Wednesday doing some form of live stitch out for you all. You are welcome to join us. You're, if you don't have the design collection, we post the design of the day um, that we're going to stitch out either the day before, the morning of, so you know what we're stitching. But please join us. We have lots of tips and tricks. We have lots of fun. As always, we like to share with you all uh, things that are going on around the company as well, so you know future events like today, this afternoon at 4 p.m. I need all my All Access members new if you are not even signed up yet but you want to know more i need you to come too but 4 p.m we'll be live again with brianna she'll be walking you through those new steps of how to find your all access the digital in your um, account you need a good design account kind of talking just a little bit of fun with with digital all access and then for those of you that are going to join us on friday for our very first 201 class we are excited for that as well all right, and then don't forget, of course, until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, you can grab your printed fabric stationery for $10 off, and you can grab your pocket full of stitches for 50% off. I love it. Thank you all so much. You know I love seeing your faces, even though I can't. I feel like I can, and we will see you soon, all right? 4 p.m. today with Brianna. Bye-bye.